This house, Elizabeth Owens on your side. Now, Liz, it sounds like this place really, really needed a clean up. Oh my gosh, no joke. This was one disgusting story to cover. Just imagine a pile so vile, so disgusting, so large, it takes your breath away. It took ours. Stinky. Oh, I don't have a word for it. Scary. The rats. I mean, the biggest cats. Disgusting. A maggot. That did it for me. Simply stomach turning. Look at it. It, it looked like a, a landfill. But it's not. It's the parking lot outside of Karen Hyman's apartment. I'm very upset. I'm very mad. Especially when I was out here cleaning my car and you know you on the pavement and you were seeing maggots. For three nauseating weeks, neighbors in Cedar Woods apartments have been living without trash pickup. I was told that the uh, bill hadn't been paid. News 12 on your side confirmed that the old complex managers did not pay waste management. A new company took over a month ago. Still, the mountain of filth kept on growing. They told us just bear with them. I called Channel 12. And we came out. Believe it or not, we were out here for less than an hour and waste management showed up. That victory dash, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you, Channel 12, thank you. Hyman and her neighbors couldn't believe their eyes or their noses. That looks good. I don't smell it, but I got my weapon. <laughs> But she doesn't care. I am ecstatic. Yes, I am. Thank y'all so much. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs> She's just overjoyed to see this nastiness finally hit the road. And Marshalls <laughs> did cite the new owners of the complex two days ago. The manager of the building, though, told us she had been working um, before that to resolve the trash problem. News 12's Elizabeth Owens is on your side with a story every parent needs to see. All it took was a single picture on Instagram, and within minutes, we knew very personal information about a teenage girl, and within an hour, we found her. Point, click, upload. In a matter of seconds, your special moment is on Instagram. And in a matter of seconds, hi, you're Rachel. A stranger knows everything about you. And this is your boyfriend, right? Yes. And this is his house, right? Yes. And you live on yes. drive? 17-year-old yes. Rachel Caldwell doesn't know us, but we know a lot about her. I was trying to figure out who lives on street, but I see you spend a lot of time there as well. That's my grandparents. We know her name, her address, her boyfriend's name, his address, and her grandparents' address. And it only took us seconds to get all of that information. What goes through your mind with that? Um, I mean, anybody could find me. She didn't blatantly put all her personal information online. All she did was snap a picture and upload it onto Instagram. Instagram is a photo sharing social networking site. You can take pictures and share it with your best buds. However, with hashtags and geotags, all it takes is a few clicks and a stranger can track you down. You'll see photo location. Geotag is a setting on Instagram that pinpoints on a map where you took a picture. Don't geotag your photos uh, of your home. The hashtag of a picture can also display personal information. It's a one word description people use to categorize their pictures. Many use locations or friends names in it. Instagram has a potential to be very dangerous uh, for people who don't realize what they're sharing. A single picture can also lead you to other pictures and thus more addresses. That's how we learn so much about Rachel. I, mean, I even knew you were a lifeguard. Yeah. Lifeguard, where grandparents live, where your boyfriend lives, where you live. That's great. <laughs> Shocked. Shocked, truly. Not knowing you at all and you having so much information in a matter of a few minutes about everything about my child was disturbing. Michael Caldwell is even more disturbed because he knows exactly what someone could do with that kind of personal information. He works in federal security. Only certain things that a child would know would not, could not distinguish whether or not this is a true stranger or a family member, it's very disturbing. All it takes is a single photo uploaded with hash and geotags and anyone, anywhere, at almost any time it's really creepy. can find you.
You know, it's just amazing. There's a lot of people who are thinking that could happen to me. So what can you do to protect yourself? Well, here's what you can do. Simply you get on your iPhone or whatever your smartphone is and click the disable with the geotag. Another thing you want to keep in mind is your hashtags. They need to be non-specific. Do not mention names or locations. People like to search for those tags to find their friend's picture. So for example, you want to upload a picture. I wanted to upload a picture of myself with some of my friends at the house for a 4th of July at a cookout instead of Liz Owens, home, cookout, 4th of July, friends. Put something like cookout, 4th of July, friends. Keeping it vague makes it harder for strangers to track you. News 12's Elizabeth Owens broke the story in January. Today she uncovered new information about possible federal charges now coming to this company. That's right, Meredith. And according to the Better Business Bureau, not only could the founder of Instant Tax be charged, but also the franchise owners. So today we went looking for the owner of the Augusta location. We wanted to ask you about the tax fraud um, charges that the Department of Justice has brought against Instant Tax Service. I don't, know, I don't work here. You don't work here? You're sitting at a desk yeah, here. Yeah, in here. News 12 on your side wanted answers from Instant Tax Service on Peach Orchard Road. However, the only person in the office we found told us she did not work there. So you're, you're a customer? No, I'm not a customer. I'm just using the computer right now. They're closed. But the sign on the door read otherwise, and we're not sure why someone who claimed not to be an employee was on a company computer without anyone else around. The Department of Justice is investigating Instant Tax Services across the nation. They estimate the company stole up to $12 million in five major cities alone. $538 to do taxes, that's just ridiculous. Viewers began contacting News 12 on your side back in January. Their complaints echoed those across the nation. They went to get a loan with Instant Tax Service only later to find out the company filed their taxes without their knowledge and charged them hundreds of dollars in fees. Is that what you would normally charge to have our taxes done? $558 for this space? Well, it's not $558. It could have been some kind of computer glitch okay. with our fees, but... Uh, <clears throat> That's what we, we added it up and it was $558? Yeah, like I said, um, I'm willing to work with a client. The local franchise owner blamed the high fees on a computer glitch. So did the founder Fez Agamazan to CBS News. He told them it was an honest mistake and blames a switch in software companies. However, consumers began complaining about the company in 2009. Since then, more than 800 complaints have flooded the Better Business Bureau. Some of those complaints came from consumers here in the Augusta area. I'm glad to see that, you know, what I thought was a concern was a concern and that it did get addressed by the proper authorities. Now, the local franchise owner did email me back and told me he was aware of the allegations against corporate, but he says it has nothing to do with the Augusta office. The BBB, however, says the Department of Justice is investigating all of the offices. So, Liz, what about the woman you found there sitting in the office? Well, I did ask uh, the owner about that woman. He says that she is the cleaning lady and had his permission to use the Internet. However, remember, she told us that she, uh, several times that she was uh, friends of an employee who told her that he she could be there. Um, the owner did say she did not have access to anybody's personal information on those computers.